Therefore, in order to safeguard the interest of the majority of players and the stability of the game, the Diablo Immortal mobile game prohibits and cracks down on all abnormal trading behaviors, and such behaviors will be severely punished. So there we have it, and welcome back everyone. Today we're talking about some recent notes in the Chinese forums, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Just a few days ago I made a video talking about the marketplace and how a lot of players are unable to sell 3-star or 4-star legendary gems because there are other players who list gems for a much higher price and abuse illegal transactions or potentially to transfer platinum. So already we're seeing something go into place here. Seeing a reaction, in my opinion, this is a good thing. And we've seen this several times. We saw changes with the vault system. We saw changes with Battleground. And whether you agree or disagree with the changes that have gone in, and regardless of how your experience has been, we are seeing changes go in as they get feedback. This is absolutely great. I hope we continue to get this. I don't think it's fair at all at this point to say that they aren't working on anything or aren't trying to improve things, because it certainly looks like they absolutely are. Now, back to the topic on hand. There's an article, as I said, and in this article they're talking about players who are abusing this, essentially making it unfair for players who just abide by the regular rules and play the game straightforward. So we're going to be seeing some changes, severe punishment, unsure what that means, if that means potentially a short ban or a permanent ban, time will tell I guess. I know there have already been a lot of players banned for transferring platinum between alts, so be careful of whatever you do. Hopefully this is going to put an end to all of the abuse and the illegal transactions once and for all. I don't think that this is going to affect the floor in which the gem prices are, so I don't think that you're going to be able to take your, say, 50k Howler's Call and then all of a sudden list it for 35k if that's an appropriate price on your server. I think that over time, with the system they have, if they cut out the abuse that's raising and inflating those prices, that those floors should actually drop on their own. So over time, hopefully you'll be able to sell those off, but it may not be immediate for you to go up and list it at something that is of interest for other players. Keep in mind, at this point, there's also a large number of these gems that are kind of stuck at that floor. So there may be some competition and prices may vary and it may take a couple of passes for you to, to sell it. But at least there's kind of some hope in sight and eventually you'll be able to sell these off fairly regularly once the market kind of stabilizes. So again, absolutely glad just to see a change in general. Hopefully this fix is a one and done and we'll see how it works out. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch and have a great day. All right, I'm back already because I can first see how many questions or comments I'm going to get on this, and hopefully I can alleviate some of that and give you some answers up front. The article is in regards to people placing gems outside of normal market prices. So if you want to transfer platinum from an alt, you can still do so. You just have to list your gems at average or near average prices, right? They're not trying to ban people who aren't abusing these systems and inflating the prices on other players and ruining their gaming experience. I hope that kind of clarifies things for people. Thanks again. Enjoy.